Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Can we lift up our hands and just bless his name? Just lift your hands inside and outside and let's say, Lord, you are worthy. We bless your holy name. We give you praise. Just bless him in your own words. He is faithful. Go ahead and bless him. The psalmist said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. He said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. Lord, we bless you. Go ahead and bless him. Give him all the praise. Give him all the glory. He is worthy. You have brought us tonight to bless us. Come on, bless him. Inside and outside, he is worthy of praise. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Thank you for your presence. Go ahead and pray in other tongues. Inside and outside, the Lord is in this place. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And the spirit of God hovered round the face of the waters. Come on, let your spirit find expression. In the presence of the one who is able to heal, to deliver, to set free. We bless your name, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In one minute, say, Lord, I've come with an expectation. Many of us have come from far and near. Lift up your voice. Now is not the time to be distracted, friends. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And it shall come to pass in that day that the mountain of the Lord shall be exalted. And all the nations shall flee. I'd like you to be excited in your spirit. The great one is in our midst. We shabak you. Hallelujah, we bless you. We bless the name of the Lord. You deserve the glory. And the honor. So we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name. You deserve the glory. Come on, Shabbat the Lord. And the honor. So we Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we praise the holy name.
If you're excited tonight, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'd like to hear a shout of praise from those of you outside. If Jesus is Lord and is alive outside, give him a shout. A shout of praise. Those of you inside, if Jesus is alive, come on, give him a shout. I believe in him. I sincerely believe in him. So yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the king. There is no other. Yes, Lord. Come on, celebrate. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Are not connected, or should I say, I have a very big God who, who is always by my side, a mighty God who by my side. I have a very big God who is always by my side, a very big God who is always by my side. We have a very big God who is always by my side. rejoicing we are not just jumping for nothing friends it's the mystery of David he jumped and he danced hallelujah sometimes when we jump and we celebrate we do not realize that is a principle in the realm of the spirit the Bible says in Psalms 149 let the high praise be in their mouth and a double-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance upon the kings and to bind their nobles with fetters of iron. It's a mystery in the realm of the spirit as we begin to worship. How many of you are ready for what his presence in this place will do? God is going to heal and deliver. Hallelujah. You believe that? And God is going to set free. One of the things the Lord told me he will be doing is found in revelations i believe chapter 3 verse 8 i will set before you an open door that no man will shut please believe it i will set before you an open door the bible makes us to understand that peter was being bound in prison and while the disciples prayed an angel came and as they walked the doors began to open out of their own volition no one compelled it the doors began to open until the last door opened and the angel left peter totally free and liberated i believe him i believe him i believe him lord i believe you i'm a believer there's no room for doubts tonight i believe you 
If I didn't believe, I wouldn't be here. I believe, I believe, I believe. My faith is alive. I believe. There's nothing you cannot do. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe. I believe in the name of the Lord Jesus. Parosa parianda gabaya. I believe, I believe, I believe. I'm excited about this miracle service because of the things that the Lord is going to be doing. Jesus be praised. I trust that in the short time we have to spend in his presence, that he will so he will leave a mark in your life tonight. That's my desire. Believe me, friends, the Bible says. Blessed is she that believes. For unto her there shall be a performance. Mary said, how shall these things be? How shall it be okay? He said, the power of the highest shall overshadow you. It's not by power. It's not by might. There is an activity of the spirit that defies explanation. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Yahweh. You are bigger than what people say Yahweh in this place. I see angels inside and outside responding to the worship. I see angels for when I came to you I did not come with the excellence of speech but in the demonstration of power that your faith would not be grounded upon the wisdom of men but in the power of God. Hear me friends, I see angels My God Tonight's meeting will truly leave a mark in your life Mighty angels Warring angels Angels of worship Angels of favor Angels of restoration Now don't you think I'm just talking I also see angels holding vials of oil holding vials of oil to anoint you to a new dimension believe it I see angels with vials of oil for the Bible says it shall come to pass on that day that the burden shall be lifted from off thy neck the yoke shall be taken and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing The presence of God is mighty. I sense the stirring of the waters. For when the waters is stirred, there will be a release. In the glory. I'd like you to get ready. There's a strong anointing and the power. Hey! I see miracles. Spirit, 
Hallelujah. The Bible, hear me. The Bible records that when the Holy Spirit comes and anoints men, there are certain things that will happen. Hear me. The Lord is going to, I don't know why God is starting this way tonight. The Lord is going to start by imparting what I hear in my spirit called insight. I know you may not understand. It's what the Bible calls a spirit of wisdom and revelation. Believe me. Insight. For he made two great lights. And he made one to rule in the day. And another to rule in the night. When that light comes into your spirit, you will rule in the day. And you will rule in the night. Hear me, hold on. I'm going to raise a chant in the spirit The Lord gave it to me as a mystery And when I raise this chant The power of God Will come rushing Many of you will literally Enter into realms of prophetic insight Please let me have those people As it happens inside and outside I'd like you to get ready Insight, strange Order of insight in the spirit Please believe it Believe it. Hey! 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 Strange order. 
Hope is coming upon you. Coming upon you. Kenny, coming upon you. Everyone. Coming upon you. A strange order of insight. Even by the Spirit. Madam, please come. Help me. Madam, come. For I bring you into a new season. And I cause a restoration unto you. Come, madam. The Lord says, I bring you into a new season. I cause a restoration. The power of God is upon you. By the Spirit, now take it. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Causing you to walk in new realms of supernatural insight, even by the spirit. For where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Let me tell you, enough is enough. Whatever Satan has taken. Tonight, tonight I prophesy, even by the Spirit, that the Lord is returning a sevenfold resolution. Hallelujah. The Lord is healing cancer right now. If you have any case of cancer, I don't care what kind of cancer, inside and outside, breast cancer, all kinds of cysts and growths. I like you to get set right now. I'm about to release the power of God. It will not. Re- you will not recover. You will be instantly healed. I like you to get set. Get set right now. He said, "For as I spoke, I declared as He spoke unto me, and there was a rattling sound." Right now, in the name of Jesus, cancer inside and outside. Go, go, go. Every trace of cancer, I command you to go. I see someone with a cancerous problem with your bone or something. I command you to be healed now. Now, cancer inside and outside. Cancer in the name of the Lord Jesus. I command cancer be healed. Check yourself right now. Check yourself. Check yourself right now. Check yourself right now. Every trace of cancer be gone. Hallelujah. Every kind of blood infection. Every kind of blood infection. Whether genotype, blood group, any sickness that is related to the blood, HIV, HIV, whatever it is, listen. I want you to know that the Bible says, Wherefore God had so highly exalted him. Don't take her away, the power of God is still strong upon her. Strong and strong upon her. It says, and has given him a name that is above every other name. At the mention of that name, he said, every knee, every knee shall bow. Of things in the heavens, of things in the earth, and of things under the earth. He said, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. I want to challenge every blood condition. That's what I hear my spirit. Hakaparasi bakabosha. Right now by the spirit I command HIV Be healed in the name of Jesus 
Hepatitis. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Hepatitis. Be healed. The power of God is touching hepatitis people. Hepatitis. By the Spirit of God. There is a strong influence of the Spirit in this place. Hepatitis. Be healed. In the name of Jesus. Every genotype. S S A S. We change it now. In the name of Jesus. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus. We change it by the authority of the King. In the name of Jesus. I hope you believe what is happening here. The Bible says, Blessed is she that believes. Let me tell you something. There is a kingdom that is superior to this one. There is a kingdom. There is a system. That's why we took our time to teach on the series of the kingdom. I'm standing not as Joshua Selman, but as touching the authority of the king and the kingdom I represent. He said, For I am a man under authority. And I say unto one, Go, and he goeth. And to another, Come, and he cometh. I stand under the authority of the king. And once again I declare S S A S Shame hey. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Sickle cell anemia. Leukemia. I command to heal in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Every sickle cell. A A A S S S. Go. Go. There is an anointing in this place. Go. Go. Whatever the spirit of God. Hallelujah. Many of you have been oppressed by demons in your sleep. Some of you hear voices. Oh, it's time for them to leave now. For where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There are people that have suffered from influences of demons. It's always my joy to cast out devils. He said, and these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, they shall cast out devils. There's someone coughing seriously outside. The power of God is coming upon you. Bring the person in from demonic influences. It's coughing seriously. Now I command every demon, every principality, every power. Go! 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 Be free! Every demonic manipulation. Be free! I cast it out of her. Come out of her now. Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out inside and outside. Every demonic manifestation. Come out by the authority of the king. Be free. 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 Now. Be free. Now. Be free. Now. Be free. Now. Be free, thou devil. Be free, let God's people go. Be free. Be free. Be free. You cannot reign over her life. I see you in the spirit. Leave her now. You understand the authority. Leave her now. I see you in the spirit. Let her go. Now. In the name of Jesus. There's still one more person outside. I'm seeing in the spirit. There's still one more person outside. I'm seeing in the spirit. Every influence 
influence of Satan over your life is leaving. Blessed be the name of the Lord. There's someone outside. Please, those of you outside, lift up your hands. Satan, I command you be gone from those outside now in the name of Jesus for there is one person I see in my spirit and the Lord brings you out by the instruction of the Holy Spirit we declare release of angels let that one person come forth now in the name of Jesus no demonic influence it shall not reign be free be free be free be free let the person come be free be free for you shall not have a place my stand as touching the king you will not hide in her you will not hide in her come out in the name of Jesus come out in the name of Jesus come out now devil I challenge you as touching the authority of the king come out of her Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hear my spirit destroy habits. God is going to break men free from habits right now. Paul said the things I would want to do, I do not find myself doing them. And the things that I do not want to do, I find myself doing them. He said, Oh wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of death? But he said, There is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. He said, For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath set me free from the law of sin and death. Challenges, habits. The Bible says, Seen then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. He said, Let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us, and that we run with perseverance the race that is set before us. So, right now, I pray by the power of the highest, Jesus the Christ Himself, I command habits, every kind of habit, masturbation drunkenness all kinds of demonic habits whatever does not represent the character of the kingdom go now in the name of jesus go 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 i break you free go Inside and outside, you are free. I break you free. Worry and fear. Go, go, go. The Lord is touching people. Worry and fear. Go. Stephanie, where Stephanie come? I don't know what it is, but the Lord says I should set you free, and I set you free. There is an authority, and it's the authority of the king. You are free, totally free, totally free in the name of the Lord Jesus totally free by the spirit of God hallelujah where are your sisters are they here Hilda and the rest this is not just you please where are they bring them if you belong to her family you are related are they here please come I don't know what it is but the Lord says to set them free 
to set them free to set them free please hold your hands together I don't know what it is but the Lord says set them free set them free and now in the name of Jesus let a fire come upon you now be free by the spirit of God be free be free be free be free in the name of Jesus be free be free you are free totally free totally free by the spirit totally free by the spirit hallelujah I don't know why God is doing this. Is your sister here? And anyone related to you, please come quickly. We're hurrying up. We have to be out of here as soon as possible. That's why this meeting was put together to set men free. God is emancipating people. Please hold your hands together. For the Lord sets you free. That's what I hear in my spirit. The Lord sets you free. I sense an anointing coming upon you. And the Lord says, set them free. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I set you free right now. I set you free right now. I declare by the power of the highest that you are free. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be free, I see like a box. Going round and round, both of you, I command. You are free now. Now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are set free in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Your son name is Ezekiel. Son name, Ezekiel. Please listen attentively now as the Holy Spirit calls out people. Your son name is Ezekiel. Where is that person inside and outside? Your son name is Ezekiel. When you get the person, let them come. There is a word for them. Ezekiel. Hallelujah. I'm seeing something in someone's head. I don't know if it's a brain tumor or something. Do we have anyone here with something that has to do? I mean, from the hospital, they've told you something. I don't know what it is, but I see a white substance in someone's. I don't know what it is, an injury, whatever it is. Do we have someone like that? Please come quickly. Ali Bosch. Sorry about the light, you'll be back in a minute. Above all, your kingdom reigns. Your kingdom reigns. Above all, above all, above all. The Lord sets you free. You believe that? You believe that? This is not all. This is not all. The Lord is communicating to you. Please let's hurry up. There's no room to waste time. We have to be really, really fast about this. Hallelujah. As I pray for you, I want you to believe that the Lord will set you free. Are you listening to me? Believe that the Lord will set you free. Let me start with mommy. 
the name of Jesus I challenge whatever issue it is be made whole now in the name of Jesus be made whole even by the spirit in the blessed name of Jesus Christ hold my hands look at me, look at me look at me, just look at me keep your eyes fixed on me of him now in the name of Jesus. Light is shining in the darkness. Come. Jesus is Lord. Just hold my hands again and look at me. Just keep your eyes fixed on me. In the darkness. I set you free now now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus I command total total wholeness to you receive it now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ receive it now perfection I release it to you in the name of Jesus Christ perfection in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Perfection in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Perfection in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Perfection in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a man on a stretcher. Looks like um is a man from Benway State or so on a stretcher being sick. If that is a case that you relate with, I like you can come as a man on a stretcher from Benway State. Is that correct? Who oh, please can we have a mic? Hallelujah. Who is that to you? Just he's an elderly man in the village. He's from Benway State. You've been trusting God for his healing yes, sir. and you've prayed about it again and again. Yes, the Lord brings healing to him right now. Can you receive for him? Yes, All right, lift up your hands. Lord, let it flow now. Receive it to him in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We command perfection and wholeness even by the Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Agnes. Your name is Agnes. Your name is Agnes. Do we have any Agnes here? I'm hearing Agnes. Please, if we call your case, I'd like you to hurry up and, and let's save time. Hallelujah. Are you the only one? The only one bearing the name Agnes? Because I see more than one person in the vision that the Lord shows me. Agnes Hallelujah She's not the only one The Lord is still telling me she's not the only one Why are you staying back? Please when we call the case hurry up Hallelujah The Lord says I should tell you Remember not the former things Nor consider the things of old He said for behold I do a new thing Behold, I do a new thing. That's what God is saying. I should tell you, behold, I do a new thing. Especially over your family, the Lord is doing a new thing. Over their finances, they've gone through lots of challenges. Is, does that make sense to you, what I'm saying? Is that correct? Hallelujah. God is saying, I'm stepping in in a way that um, will cause many to wonder. And is bringing perfect restoration, even by His Spirit. Hallelujah. Father, confirm your word in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Confirm your word by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please go back. Um, your father is a your father is a businessman. I see him holding cartons. If he does any business that relates to maybe packaging or goods. Someone here, your father is a businessman. I see a man holding a carton. I don't know what that means. But something that relates to that. Is there anyone? 
please very quickly your father is in business what does he do is the mic is down he sells motorbikes how about you he sells goods he sells goods in a carton did he lose anything yes he lost his company he lost his company the lord says i should tell you that he is restoring and he will overturn are you listening to me the lord says i should tell you that he's restoring he will overturn and he's going to restore you believe that i see him holding a carton the lord is going to restore even by his spirit you believe that you believe that both of you lift your hands even as you receive from your um, family members hold on look at me my dear did your father pick up a quarrel with anyone you may not know but it's a serious um, I see that there's an issue between your father and someone you received please let the mic be on <laughs> technical people can you I just received a call today about uh, 10 a.m. in the morning. My 10 a.m. in the morning? Yes, my oh. mom called me. That's all, because my dad is going for a counselorship post. So that the young man walked up to him and I said, he's going to deal with him. That he's just looking at him. He doesn't know where to start with him. Yes, I, I, see, I see your father will quarrel with someone and I hear conspiracy. Conspiracy. But you must also tell your father what fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness that's god's word for your father and what communion has light got to do with darkness for he that breaks the hedge the serpent will strike tell your father he must walk in total righteousness to see god's result but lord we pray that you preserve the father and for you i command and i decree that the restoration is perfect and is permanent in the name of the lord jesus god bless you hallelujah I see God restoring um, a Kaduna family. You are from um, the southern part, Zango Kataf, specifically. Now, hold on. Don't just jump out because you're from there. There are many people, I believe, that are from here. Um, you are four in your family. That's what God shows me. You are four in your family. And... Um, I see that one of you in the family has had a a recurrent disease or something like that please who is that if this fits the word for you i'd like it to come out now a family uh, from kaduna the lord is giving this is very specific you can't guess if it's you if it's not you just sit back hallelujah four in your family one is sick from zangon kataf so hallelujah do we have anyone like that the lord wants to minister to that family you're the one please keep the mic on technical let the mic remain on his glory she had to travel with her family to oh she had to travel but but that's 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 yes i see that um Okay, well, I'm aware that our dad is sick, and um, but then God is bringing a restoration for the family. God is restoring, and um, I see, I see like um, an earthquake. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing right now an earthquake. You see that too? I wrote it in my book. Is yes, there? that's what I'm seeing. An earthquake and uh, a disaster, but the Lord averts it by His Spirit. Lord averts it by his spirit. Hallelujah. Can you stand in for her? Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that by the spirit and the authority of the king, standing in for her, we command that restoration through you to her right now. Receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Barista is not around. I wish he were around because there is a word that the Lord gives me for him. I hope that when we meet, we'll be able to communicate it to him. I see an elderly woman. 
um, you are not among those in front here but you are an elderly woman you came you are at the back um, you've suffered you've had pains in your back serious back pain please who is that I'm seeing an elderly woman she suffered serious back pain and you've been saying Lord I'm coming with an expectation oh yes he is ready and willing to heal for he is able more than able to accomplish Hallelujah. I'm hearing Rose. Is there any one of you who is Rose or you're related to anybody called Rose? Rose. Is there anyone? I'm hearing the name Rose. Rose. I don't know what God wants to do with the name Rose, but my mom is suffering from a back pain right now, and my elder sister's name is Rose. I didn't know there are so many people with the name Rose. The Lord just gave me the name Rose. I love the intelligence of the spirit. For it is not by power, it's not by might, but by the spirit of God. All the ladies rose, please lift your hands. There will be the breath of the highest upon you. And it will set you on fire for the king. At the count of four, the power of God will come strong upon the ladies with the name Rose. One, two, three, four. Ladies with the name Rose, an impartation upon you even by the Spirit. Strong impartation upon you. Strong impartation upon you. Even by the Spirit. For one of you, you are being healed of a menstrual crisis. It goes forever. Goes forever. Hallelujah. Back pain. My, my stomach is very hot. Feeling. Yes, I was feeling it. But later on, I feel it very hot inside. Yes. Is the anointing of the Spirit upon you? Please hold my hands, madam. Jesus. Let the back pain go. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let the back pain go. The power of God is coming strong upon you back pain just back here madam. not loose just hold my hands madam in the name of the lord jesus i challenge that pain go right now in the name of jesus be gone the power of god is flowing through you be gone in the name of jesus this is what we pray for you check yourselves check yourselves, check yourselves. all the roads you can go back check yourselves I see one of you being healed um, from something that has to do with your spine. One of you is healed. Back pain. The side to the back. By the, the back. Okay, by the side. The side and the back. Mommy, the power of God sets you free. Oh, because of your generosity, the power of God sets you free. In the name of Jesus, the power of God sets you free. Every pain. I command you to disappear right now by the power that is in the name of Jesus. You are made whole right now in the name of Jesus. You are standing it for your mother. She has back pain. Where exactly? In the name of Jesus, I take authority over that back pain. Be made perfected right now in the name of Jesus. Perfection given by the Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. I'm seeing a heart condition. Um, someone has a problem with the heart condition. It's been long. It's been, you are aware of it. You've been told growing up a heart situation. Please, who is that? You came here full of expectation. It's time for the Lord to set you free. A heart condition. What's, what's the situation? Um, they call it... Um, it's been since 300 level first semester. Since 100 level I've been having it. But then I can't remember... The anointing the of the Spirit is strong on you. Yes, sir. <laughs> the power of God is so strong on you. You are standing on hold and I know that the angels all around hallelujah the Lord is setting you free what's it called again sorry this 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 That's all right. Look at me. Just look at me. The Lord will set you free right now. You believe that? Please come. He'll touch you. It's not Joshua Selma. He'll touch you. And oh, hey, what watch out of me now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Perfection by the Spirit, something perfection that has a vision. Go now, I know Jesus Christ that is free by the power of the Holy Spirit. You also have a heart condition. Go, come out of heart, be free now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If it's something, asthma, lay your hands on her chest with me. Asthma, go, 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 go. Why are you not serious with the Lord? The Lord calls you by this meeting tonight into a place of intimacy. You cannot mix fresh water and salt water. It's time for you to go all out for God. You want me to pray for you? Yes, that the Lord will put a hunger for his word in you? Yes, sir. I'd like to pray for you. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray a hunger in him. Let an anointing come upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ, set him on fire for you. You will never be the same again in the name of Jesus Christ. My uncle was due to Indian for operation. Operation? Yeah, in his heart. And it's like they implanted a clock or so inside. It's always ticking when you're close to him. You hear it ticks. A clock? By the doctors? As in you hear the heart oh, it, ticking. It, yeah. Oh, a clock, a clock in his heart. Yeah. By who? That's not how God designed him. Um, okay. Bible says, whatever has not been planted by my father will be uprooted. Lord, we take authority over every planting. We abolish it now by faith in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Perfection for your uncle in the name of Jesus. Christ. The doctor could not predict what it was. Hold on, sorry? The doctor could not predict what, the, what was exactly wrong with me, but he was like, it was asthma. Asthma caused the word. Um, asthma. Of asthma. But at the same time, he was confused if it was asthma or not. Doctors are wonderful people, but you see, there is only so much they can do, and it's not their fault. But look at me. Just shout Jesus once, as loud as you can. Jesus! That's the name that is above every other name. Totally free by the Spirit of God. Totally free by the Spirit of God. 
You are for heart conditions? No, in case of my uncle. Your uncle? What's wrong with him? They say that an insect or a worm in his heart. You see how wicked Satan is? For, for many of you who just laugh and think Satan is your friend, let me tell you something. There is no goodness in him. Satan is so wicked. How can an insect, or what do you call it, an insect, in your uncle's heart? What kind of thing is that? You believe he's going to be healed right now? You're standing in for him. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I command, lay your hands on your chest. Amen. See, the power of God is strong on you. See your hands. You're standing in for him. Just breathe in and out three times. Just do it. Breathe in and out. The power of God comes on you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear, what's wrong? Asthma. Asthma. You have asthma? Okay, um, we're going to pray for the asthmatic patient before I give the ministers a room to just minister and then we'll pray. Every one of you is going to be touched by the power of God tonight. Asthma. But since you came out, the Lord responds to your faith. Um, you're going to be healed right now and you check yourself, okay? And then please lay your hands on her chest if you will. Look at me. Open your eyes. Don't miss your miracle. You don't need to meditate. Two of us should not pray. Just watch. I'll do the prayer. Okay? Uh, look at me. Just breathe in and out. Just do what I'm telling you to do. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out again. Do it one last time. <laughs> You're free now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Totally free. Even by the Spirit of God. What do you have? I actually just remembered my cousin now. Your cousin? Yes, sir. Okay, what's wrong with him? She is uh, suffered. Heart. She has suffered uh, of this heart disease for the past uh, three years now. Thirty-three years? No, three years. Oh, three years. She has been coming to Shika all okay. the way from home. Okay. And uh, last year, she had to travel to India, India. two times for, for surgery. Surgery. Okay. But she went there, and they couldn't discover exactly what was wrong with the heart then. Standing in for her, let me pray for you in the name of Jesus. Perfection over her heart right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Perfection by the Spirit, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. What's wrong with you? Asthma. You have asthma. Okay, I'm going to pray for asthma to people. You don't have to come out. But since how long has it been? Over one and a half years. When? Two years ago. Two years. How old are you now? You are 14. For the past 12 years, you've had asthma. So, two. Oh, for the past two years, he's had asthma. Okay. As well, let me pray with you. You believe Jesus will heal you? You believe it? Lay one hand on your chest if you will. Jesus, you are the healer. Perfection. Perfection. Now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Perfection. Hallelujah. If you have asthma, lift your hands inside and outside. Asthma. If you are suffering from any kind of asthmatic condition, please lift your hands. I'll pray for you right now. Asthma asthma it's time for you to receive i hope you get serious with what we are doing asthma i like all of you to say after me jesus i receive say after me jesus i receive in the name of the lord jesus i set you free from asthma right now be healed begin to breathe in and out test yourself check yourself right now asthma you are healed totally totally not a gradual recovery totally instant healing from asthma drop your hands down and check yourself hallelujah where's a jimmy come hallelujah um there's someone here you have an eye condition you're Igbo. i think your name is emeka Emeka and wafo the eye condition it causes pain to go from here all the way the pain starts from here and it rises all the way to here please come out God wants to heal you my name is Emeka Emeka Wafo there's another person 
you have a kidney condition you have a kidney condition you used to have um, supernatural experiences at night like you see an angel they told you your kidney was damaged yes they told you your kidney was damaged and you don't know what to do about it it's a critical condition it's, it's almost like it's terminal and you used to see an angel and you see the angel holding holding kidneys God says I should give you God says I should give you the kidney I see a mother sorry I see a grandmother your daughter has fibroid and she has not been able to give birth because of that fibroid she has diagnosed that the fibroid is occupying her womb please come out God wants to heal you a grandmother your daughter has fibroid she's married but she has not had a child for a while There's, I see like cobwebs in her womb that's the reason why okay you don't know it's fibroid but she has not given birth for a while please whoever that person is please come out and then I don't know God gave me a, a prophecy for China China I heard God say capital flight I heard God say he is concerned for China capital flight is going to affect their currency I don't know when it's going to be but it's going to be serious and I hear God say he's concerned for China Those are, then there are some people your ministerial calls your ministerial calls your ministerial calls a prophetic call is upon you I will allow those who operate in the prophetic to pray about it but God wants to launch people into their ministerial calls you will begin to experience serious angelic ministration serious angelic ministration so God wants to launch you into that tonight Emeka okay you are the Emeka what's wrong with you shortage of blood shortage of blood of blood yes. shortage of blood and what else Why? once I have shortage of blood too what when I have shortage of blood What's your son name? Wafo. Wafo. Emeka Wafo. That's what I saw. That's what do I know you? No. I've been seeing it since morning. My brother dreamt about you and he told me God was going to do that. When God said Emeka Wafo, I said, "Wow. That means you are Igbo." God said, "No, it's Emeka Wafo." So, Father in the name of Jesus, I pray that you set him free. I overhaul your body from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. You are made whole by the power of God. You are made whole. You are made whole. You are made whole. You are made whole by the power of God. You are made whole in the name of Jesus. Free in Jesus' name. Amen. Then the grandmother that has a okay ma. They said it's toilet infection. Okay. Okay. She she married. She has not given. She has not given birth. I see it like cobwebs. At first I thought it was fibroid, but I just saw it like cobwebs, like a mess in her tummy. I see God putting <laughs> Amen. <laughs> wow. Father, I thank you. Father, thank you. I see God putting twins. <laughs> I was afraid to say it, but I see God putting twins. Amen. I when you see two fetuses in a room, that's twins, I believe. Amen. Amen. God Miracle gave me babies. The what? God gave me the names of the twins. Oh, beautiful. Ah. This is what this is. Father, we seal it in the name of Jesus. We thank you for those children who fulfill destiny. We set her free in the name of Jesus. Reconstructive surgery. We set her free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Enjoy the labor over your daughter in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. What are you standing here for? The eye. Okay. Father, set him free in Jesus' name. Set him free in Jesus' name. We bring you the kingdom of God in your life and your body. You are made whole in Jesus' name. That foul spirit, go. Life, come. Eyesight, whole in the name of Jesus. Amen. Then, fibroid. Thank you, Jesus. You are free in Jesus' name. Yes. Prophetic ministry. Jump up, please. Just pray for me. When the worship was on, the Lord, I saw an angel of the Lord with an anointing upon you, even concerning prayer and the prophetic. 
And the Lord said, He's going to speak through you. The Lord said, He's going to open your eyes and give you see anointing again. Father, I thank you for upon our life. Manasseh. Yeah. I, there's a lady by the name Abigail. Can I have Abigail here? Abigail. 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 There's something that's an Abigail. Abigail. Are you Abigail? Okay, come. I don't know who among you, but I know there's somebody among you that has, your family has a, a problem with debt. Amen. Your father is, is that the work your father did somewhere, the money is being held, is not paid. And I had the Lord said he's going to restore back the money. Amen. I, I don't know who among you has that, that has to do with debt. Amen. The Lord says he's going to pay it. And also you over there, you. Yeah. When we're praying, I see the Lord doing a deliverance in your life and your family come. I see the Lord doing a deliverance in your life. Even breaking you away from the ignorances that there are some things that are stopping you from getting married. Hope you, hope you hear me. You prayed that very prayer before you came here that we want the Lord to encounter you. Father, thank you, Lord, in our life. And I command that every every demonic activity against our life is broken in the name of Jesus. Then also, when we're praying, mommy, mommy, I don't know whether that was connected to your daughter, but I saw an angel of the Lord doing a surgery in you. Huh? Yeah. I, I saw the angel of the Lord doing the surgery in you, yeah. and he said it's going to. I see the Lord taking away something, t- t- something from the body, and I also see the, saw the Lord doing a cleansing in the blood. Yeah. And the Lord said it's going to, it's going to perfect that in your dream this night. Amen. I saw, Amen. I saw the angel of the Lord doing the surgery Amen. in you, and the Lord Thank said, Jesus. and the Lord said it's going to perfect it. Amen. You're, give me, let me, let me pray. Save it Father, in Jesus' name. Pardon? I receive it in yeah. Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, Lord. It's done in the name of Jesus. It's done in the name of Jesus. And also, Father, concerning the promotion in the family, concerning the promotion that I've been trusting you, Lord, Lord, the door is open in Jesus' Amen. name. The door is open. When I was praying there, the Lord showed me a vision again for the second time. Concerning uh, a prominent uh, businessman in the country by the name Dangote, I saw the angel of the Lord. Should I say it? Amen. <laughs> He's going down. Yeah, going down. And and I saw I saw him directly connected to the present Islamic Bank policy, and I saw him doing a donation, and that made the Lord the Lord. It's going down. Let me just summarize. It's going down. Hallelujah. Okay, so Jamfa, what did you see about them? You can take it from there. Okay, for that, yeah, I see like three people standing behind you, and there has been the voice of accusation saying you are guilty. I see certain warfare that you have had to experience over the years, t- challenges too that has affected your health recurrently over the years. And God says He wants to bring deliverance to you today. God says He's not only touching mommy, but He's bringing a total walk to your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I release perfection to your bloodstream, to every fiber of your being. I command that you are healed and you are made perfect tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Just a moment. While this is going on, if you have not written your prayer request, let's save time. Please, very quickly, ushers, begin to take the prayer request inside and outside. Now is the time. Your prayer requests. Please, if your friends and loved ones send them through sms or something you can just copy it let's have it quickly quickly yes sir go ahead jump on. i heard the lord give me the name jimo and i see that your mom has been having a particular sickness an infirmity that she has carried for many years and it has been a source of great concern to your family the Lord gives me the name Jimo. Your mom has an ailment that she has carried for many years and has been a source of great concern to your family. I don't know where you are. Just lift up your hands and come. The Lord wants to bring healing. The Lord is giving the name Jimo. Jimo. Is Jimo in this place? Eyes. Eyes. Yes. 
one of our eyes is given us. Yes. Lord, I pray over Jimo in the name of Jesus. Command healing to his mom's sight in the name of the Lord Jesus. Healing perfection to her. What's okay? I know you, Jimo. What is it that's wrong with your mom? Nothing at all. Okay. That means you're not the one the Lord is speaking about. He's the one. Hallelujah. The Lord says, I should tell you that the work that you are doing right now, that you're not going to do it for everyone. God says shortly. He said the business and the things that he has been speaking to you about, he says shortly, you have to leave that job. For God says, do not step out until he's speaking to you at the appointed time. Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes, I remember like two years ago, the Lord gave me a word for you on your birthday that he was taking you out of Zara to a new land and a strange land that you have never been before. God says, this is a time that is going to multiply you in that land. God says he's ushering your ministry into a new season. And God says it is expected of a steward that he be found faithful. I see many coming to you and giving unto you. And God says he's setting you to father many, but he expects that you be found faithful. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Mr. Yums, I see you standing in an office. I don't know what you were doing before you came back to school. But I see you now. God is showing me that as you leave this place, you're going to have your business. You're going to have to do with a place where you walk. I see the one-story building through the staircase. I see you walking around that office. Where you walk before coming to school, is this the description? Please talk to me. Come. Where you walked before coming back to school, is this the description of the place? Exactly. I don't even know where you, you that was in Lagos or wherever, but this is what God is showing me. And God is saying, as you go back, I see increase coming, I see expansion coming. I see you going beyond that one office and taking the whole floor. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, Apostle Sai talking about earthquake. There's so much that the Lord gave me earlier hours of this morning that I wrote. And I saw like a mighty wind and I saw the ground open. And God told me that it's going to be one of the most devastating natural disaster that this generation has seen. And I see it coming in the next few months. I see it cutting across somewhere in North America and somewhere in Asia also. And the Lord shows me in a vision, I saw like a chart. Like a chart. And I saw like a price chart. And God was showing me that in the new year that we're about to enter, there's going to be a sudden increase in price of goods and, and commodity in this country. There's going to be an unusual increase that you have not experienced in recent times. And it will run through the year. And, but God shows me the chart coming down again. As it rises to the peak, I see it coming down. So even though it's going to be a difficult time for many things are going to be expensive. But God promised that he will watch over his people. Hallelujah. Some of the prophecies that God is, is giving me, they may not sound conventional for this moment, but from the early part of this year, I gave a prophecy about the governor of Cardinal State and the governor of Plateau State. And in the vision that God showed me about the governor of Plateau State, God showed me and God said there was an attempt of assassination coming upon his life. And I didn't really understand. I thought that was just going to be physical. And then until recently, Apostle told me that he's been out of the country on a serious health challenge. And last night while I was praying, I saw like a spirit of death stood by his side. And God was asking that I pray and rebuke that spirit. I know that God is calling on the church to pray so that he will come back alive. We do not say these things. We are not political mouthpiece. We are just saying the things that the Lord is, is showing us to speak. And I see someone in this place somebody related to you like in your family somebody you lost somebody not to say the person died but the person got missing throughout this from the early part of this year i see that happen the person got missing a loved one a family member that you've been looking for particularly a lady where is that person just lift up your hands a lady it happened this year a lady related my dad's friend your dad's friend okay let me pray for you but the lord shows me a lady 
that has been missing from the early part of this year and the Lord shows that this lady is going to come back She's going to come back in the name of Jesus we we'll declare that wherever she is we we'll declare a release for her I will command her to come back home in the name of the Lord Jesus I see someone you have in your dream you experience as though your head is shaved in your dream you see your head shaved it's a lady and the Lord is telling me that it's a spell that the enemy is casting over you even against marriage where you just lift up your hands I want to declare over you Lord I pray I pray I see in, in your dream you see your head completely shaved I declare that that spell is broken over your life and I declare total liberty to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in Jesus name Amen. For the people that God, that Apostle prayed for at the beginning, I saw something. God, God was setting you from mindsets. So your mindsets have been conditioned since you were born. All those ladies. And he said one of the characteristics of your mindset is that you have come to believe that a woman is supposed to be the breadwinner by default. That's what God was saying specifically. God says, I should tell you categorically that it was not so from the beginning. And God says, he's empowering you so that your reality will be different. And it's, they were not the only ones. God is releasing a grace upon all the ladies in this place who have been characterized that, by that mindset that a woman is supposed to be the breadwinner. And you are, you are prepared for it. You have actually made plans, strategies, business plans, business strategies. God says he wasn't so from the beginning and he's setting you free in the name of Jesus. Then there's a second group of people God is releasing upon you unusual grace for creativity. I've been sensing that since since 3 o'clock. Unusual grace for creativity. What the Bible calls witty inventions. In fact, it's the spirit that was upon Bezalel. I see it in the IT, I see it in hospitality and catering, and I see it in the media. Unusual creativity. We would like to pray for you and lay hands on you and impart that grace to you. Then the last set of people, you've been having dreams for a series of days now, and you've been seeing eagles, eagles, eagles. You see mountains, you see eagles. You've been seeing it for a long time now. Mountains, eagles, mountains, eagles. Every time you see in the spirit, that's what you see. And there are other people who have been sensing in the spirit but have not been seeing what they sense. We would like to pray for those people also. If you come out, I'd just like to pray for all the people that are listed. Amen. So, those who belong to that category, quickly just come up this way. Wild Jigs ministers, go ahead, sir. Hallelujah. Um, please, if you identify with the name Lami. I heard the name Lami. If you identify with the name Lami, quickly come out, please. If you identify with the name, is that your name or your mother's name? Lami. If you identify hold with on. the name. Um, listen, hold on. I hope you are not just coming out because you want. We are going to pray. Soon we'll enter another session very quickly and then we'll pray for everybody, okay? We are just talking about those specifically um, that his case concerns. So please don't just feel emotional and come out, okay? All right, if you identify with the name Lamy, please just come this way. The name Lamy. Lamy, right? Okay, your younger sister. I actually have a word for um, Lamy. Praise God. Then, if you have, um, you're having pains here. It's actually pneumonia. Just on your right, your right side. Actually, have received um, healing for that person. If you are that person, quickly come out too. Then so on with. Presently, you're having... You're having pains on your thigh, right down your right thigh. Even as you were standing worshiping, you had pains on your right thigh. Okay, mommy, that's you. Okay, on your right thigh. Actually, um, received that. The people who migraine, I may not be able to call you out. I know Jangfa mentioned the case of um, people that were losing their hair. Just while lazy, um, lady raised up her hand. They actually more than that. Because I actually saw a flash of it. Hallelujah. I saw a flash of it. So, Lami, where's Lami? Okay. Okay, Lami, um, what I received for you, the Lord said you should share the testimony. 
Do you understand? The Lord said you should just share the testimony. So I believe the Lord wants to, the Lord is releasing something upon you. He wants to bless you, okay, with something that you share. Are you also like me? Okay, your younger sister, so I'm just going to quickly pray with you. Then the case is, what is, what did you come up for? Okay, Lami. All right, I'm just going to quickly pray with you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please, if, have, if you're having migraine, you may not need to come out. Just put your hands wherever you're having the pain. Just migraine. Your forehead, I felt that too for you. And I felt the healing for you. Then um, people with pains just at the right shoulder. At the right shoulder. You're having a pain there. Just put your hands there. There's no need to come out. Please just put your hand. I'm going to pray with you right now. And the Lord is going to touch and heal you wherever you are. In the name of Jesus Christ, will you pick every pain, every migraine? I rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And every pain on the shoulder, I rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please let's have all the prayer requests. All the prayer requests. Very quickly, please can we rise on our feet? I believe, I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe, sing God. Is this all inside and outside ushers? How many of you are here to drop your request? Let me see. Please, we need some ushers. Just let them have it very quickly so that they can. Just lift it up so that you can drop it. We want to pray on the request. Hallelujah. May I request all the servants of God here to just come out as we pray. Now, this is not just a ceremony. Please listen. This is not just a religious ceremony. Hallelujah. God has been so faithful unto us. And that this, we're not just doing it because we should do it. God gave us an instruction to do it. And I want you to know that whatever it is that is represented here by the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ, miracles will so erupt from this. I'd like you to believe it, please. Believe it. Yes, you can bring them ushers. Let's have it quickly. Hallelujah. Please come, Pastor Jakes. You can come. Good to see you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, as we pray on this request, please, instrumentalist, I'd like you to play, just, you know, clash the cymbal, give your best. And we're going to pray in the spirit. I'd like everyone to join us as you pray in the spirit. Hallelujah. And then we're going to speak over it and release. I know that there are impossible cases humanly in this request cases that only God can bring liberty to people but I want you to know that there is a God that sits in heaven he created the heavens and the earth in seven days it will not take him too long to change the situations here there are financial situations represented here marital situations um, issues of barrenness and so on and so forth we are going to pray Right, I like everybody to begin to pray in the spirit. Please let's come back. Let's come in the spirit. Come on, pray inside and outside. This is the time when we get to pray for something. We release miracles in the name of the Lord Jesus as representatives of the living Christ. Not impossible situations.
nations give way. I see doors being opened in a vision. I see gates being opened by the Spirit. I see miracles, miracles, miracles. There is an eruption of miracles. I see it in the spirit. An eruption of miracles in families, in homes, within Nigeria, outside of Nigeria. By faith, we send these miracles to the north, the south, the east, the west of this country. By the ministry of intercession and by the laying on of hands, we declare impossible situations. Health conditions change. Financial situations change. Supernatural jobs, marriages. We release it. We release it. Receive it. Receive it. On the internet, receive it. There's power moving everywhere. There's power moving everywhere. The ministering spirits of God taking the responses of this request by the unity of faith. We command a supply of miracles, 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 in the name of Jesus. Lord, for your people, let there be a release for your people. Let there be a release for your people. Let there be a release for your people. Let there be a release. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. Great miracles being released by the Spirit. Father, we pray right now. As the servants of the living God commissioned by grace we're praying on these requests and Lord we declare that every situation represented here will change for good in the name of Jesus for your loved ones and for your families right now you will receive supernatural calls telling you about the eruption of miracles supernatural miracles death cancellation by the spirit promotions by the spirit children by the spirit supernatural marriages in the name of the Lord Jesus healing of terminal diseases admissions into institutions Lord we agree by faith and we establish it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. The last thing we are going to do, please, let me, the servants of Christ, I'd like us to stand. There is going to be a stirring of spiritual gifts. We all represent different offices and operation of the Spirit. Now, I'd like you to believe this is the moment you do not want to miss. Please, can we just form a straight line and hold our hands together and lift it up? Inside and outside, I'd like you to connect. For apostles, prophets, teachers, pastors, evangelists, there will be a supernatural connection of the spirit by faith. This is what the Lord is telling me to do. Hear me, we are going to lift up our voices. 
and stretch our hands towards you. Many of you will encounter levels of power and insight that you have never seen before. You came for miracle service and even among ourselves there will be a transfer of virtue. Take note. Hallelujah. Please let the cymbal not stop. Sir, play the instruments. Can you transmit? Now go ahead and receive in the name of Jesus. Let there be a release. A release. Inside and outside. Let the prophetic flow. Come mighty. Let the apostolic flow. Come mighty. Let the teaching anointing. The office of teachers. Hallelujah. A supernatural anointing. 
for creativity for creativity for creativity the spirit of Bezalel I see purple rain falling purple rain falling receive it now creativity the spirit of Bezalel creativity come up with witty inventions hallelujah Hallelujah. Now, I want to speak over your finances. Everybody. Everybody. We are going to speak. I, I'm glad the ministers are holding. Please believe it. This is an unusual miracle service. God is doing strange things. You've heard the prophecies about next year. I didn't tell you. I saw the capital of China being affected and devastated greatly. Greatly. Let me tell you the truth. We are now sitting here the first recession. We were criticized for it when we said a recession was coming. And we did announce it again that another recession is coming. And I'm saying it again. Another recession is coming. But when there was going to be famine in Egypt, wisdom was given to Joseph. And a strategy was communicated. Hallelujah. The Bible says when men say there is a casting down. He said for seven years you shall save and during the famine you shall step out in that abundance i want to pray for your finances hear me friends it's not by your knowledge and calculation no wealth is spiritual forget about uh, all of this arrogance of economies that is shaming them every man who has truly gotten wealth whether by god's way or satan's way knows that wealth is spiritual when you see a rich man you say this guy has gone to the native doctor we understand i want to pray for you some of you need to stand in for your loved ones because you know gone are the days when we pretend that this is not an issue it has caused wreck and havoc and damages in families enough is enough as servants of the lord we want to pray for your life you mustn't believe it but if you care the lord doesn't want you to survive he wants you to be blessed so that you can advance the kingdom and here's the scripture the lord gave me let me just read it quickly i want us to hurry up revelation chapter 3 mm. verse 8 i know thy works behold i have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it for i know that thou hast little strength and has kept my word and has not denied my name i pray right now satire. i sense an anointing in the name that is above every other name if i be a servant of the living god then now i pray let there be a baptism of supernatural inexplainable wealth is an anointing i release it take it now Take it now, take it now, take it now, take it now. It's an anointing. Receive it for your finances. Receive it for your finances, for your families. It's an anointing. Receive it. Take it. It's yours. Receive it. It will impart wisdom. It will impart favor. There are certain virtues that God has blessed us with as a ministry. And Peter says, such as I have, give I unto you. Hear me with all humility. Any right thinking man seeing the hand of God upon this ministry knows that it's not about us. Anyone who has sense enough, you know that there is a factor and there are spiritual principles. There are certain blessings that God has blessed us with. When God calls a man, there are certain dimensions of graces that are operational hallelujah and i want to pray we want to declare some of these things upon you you will be surprised how these things will change your life please let there be every sense of unbelief kick it out are you listening to me now it's not the time to doubt god is changing someone here god has blessed us with a dimension of his presence 
his presence many of you will begin to step into unusual levels the lord told me something some years ago he says son i give you my presence as a gift my father i raise a cry let the presence the angel of the lord's presence that has walked with us commanding signs wonders undeniable manifestations if god be god let the angel of the lord's presence be released towards you in the name of jesus in the name of jesus the angel of the lord's presence and moses said do not send us from here if your presence goeth not with us he said how shall they know that we are a separated people the second is favor the bible says hear me he said that esther anointed herself with a particular oil for one year and she walked before king ahasuerus and suddenly a woman who had no human qualification by the favor of god the lord calls it the esther anointing the lord has given us grace favor we cannot even explain favor we cannot explain lord in the name of jesus receive this favor in the name of jesus strange dimension of favor favor with god favor with man we release it in the name of jesus let favor follow you from today bringing blessings bringing victory bringing results that you cannot explain favor favor your academics favor your relationship favor your business it's called grace it's called grace Amen. receive it in the name of jesus hallelujah number three the lord has blessed us with wisdom the bible says wisdom is the principal thing he said therefore get wisdom he said and with all thy getting get understanding he said on no hand she shall promote thee he said she shall bring a, an ornament of glory upon thy head when thou dost embrace her he said does not wisdom cry by wisdom he founded the earth and by understanding he said he established it wisdom 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 my father i pray that in this october miracle service let men and women leave this place with an impartation of the spirit of wisdom receive it in the name of jesus 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 the spirit of wisdom is yours receive it in the name of jesus hallelujah <laughs> hallelujah one of the things that god has blessed us i call it the spirit of elijah supernatural speed and acceleration hear me friends i want there is something called speed the bible makes us understand that when he, he, he told her saddle your ass and run i hear the sound of the abundance of rain but he went back and when he prayed and saw the feast cloud like a feast of the bible says the hand of the lord came upon him he gathered his loins and used his bare foot and began to run and he overtook the chariots of ours the bible says at a certain time jesus told the disciples to use the last boat and go and they were six hours ahead of him but when he finished praying he encountered an anointing he got up and started walking on the water and was almost overtaking them let me tell you something when the spirit of speed comes upon you you will pursue and you will overtake as though you never experienced a lot now please i want you to believe it oh i want you to believe it there are many people who are in their need 
of restorations in their lives and for families and right now we pray in the name that is above every other name at the mention of that name we sound an alarm in the realm of the spirit receive speed now now acceleration speed speed in marriage speed in your job acceleration speed 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 you will run you will run speed advancement acceleration hallelujah One of the things that God has given us is honor. 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 Kingdom honor. The Bible says, because thou lovest righteousness and hated wickedness, it said, therefore our God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows. Lord, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. It's a season to honor your people and to bring them to limelight for the sake of the kingdom. Therefore, I pray right now that everything that has kept you bound such that you cannot come to light, there are families that have been kept bound. Hallelujah. Tonight, the spirit of the Lord is upon us. And with this anointing, I command, let the doors of the prison over families over finances let doors be open in the name of Jesus we call you to a place of honor in the name of Jesus we call you to a place of influence in the name of Jesus receive it for yourself receive it for your loved ones receive it for your family in the name of the Lord Jesus Hallelujah. Something must show in your life for men to know that the Lord lives. Are you listening to me? Something must show in your life. Something must show. That's why you came for this miracle service. Something must show in your life. We want to rebuke the plague of death. Now, please take it serious. When God gives instructions like this, take it very seriously. Hallelujah. You want to take authority over the plague of death. The Bible says when they asked Balaam to go and curse them, when he went, he found out that the ark was positioned in a particular way. He could not curse them. For he said, the shout of a king is in their midst. I declare in the name of Jesus. The Bible said, I set before you life and death. I said before you blessing and cursing right now we lift up the ban of death over your life and over your family members in the name of Jesus no more death no more accidents no more terminal diseases in the name of Jesus don't care what's killing of Satan but we're agreeing right now that the hedge of protection comes over your life and over your family how many of you know we need the protection of God in Nigeria right now you get up and live peacefully and someone gets up and just causes chaos but we speak upon every one of you for life is a choice and in the name of Jesus as a ministry we choose life and we decree and declare that there is life upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ no death no death hallelujah no death Lord we give you praise for the mighty things that you are doing one last thing I'm going to pray for
very quickly. Is what I began to share the opening of the doors. While I prepared for this meeting, the Lord began to tell me to open up closed doors. Now, I know many of you may not understand the power and the relevance of opening up of these doors. But we are going to pray it anyway. Are you listening to me? In Psalm 24, it says, The earth is the Lord's and its fullness thereof. He said, The worlds and all they that dwell therein. So there is no controversy. We can fight over lands, but the earth is the Lord's. Are you listening to me? And he said, For he has founded it upon the sea and established it upon the waters. And then the Bible says, Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place? He said, He that has clean hands and a pure heart who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully as a result he will receive a blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation and then he said this is the generation of them that seek thee. seek thy face O Jacob and then there is a saying and this is where we are coming in he said lift up your hands O ye gates friends there are gates so are you listening to me there are gates and the Bible calls them ancient doors it said that the king of glory will come in the gates are not just things they are people because they spoke back they said who is this king of glory and then there was a response he said the lord yahweh strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle and we are going to be raising a cry and command and say the gates be lifted and ancient doors be opened when Jesus was caved in a place on the third day the Bible says an angel came and rolled away the stone and there he came king of kings and lord of lords I believe by the opening of this door God is opening us up we have seen it we have prophesied it we have announced it now I like us to step into it the opening of our gates. I don't know about you, but I prayed this. I prayed my life out on this. I said, Lord, this is the season that we step. He told Moses, Tell the people to move forward. Tell them, Go forward. Tell them, The Egyptians that you see today, you see them no more. In one minute, lift up your voice and begin to pray. The gates. Gates of limitation. We challenge gates. We challenge ancient doors. It's time for the church to arise. It's time for the body to arise into our prophetic destiny, into our heritage in Christ. Hear the word of the Lord. Lift up your hands. Come on, pray. Oh, he takes. Oh, he takes. Oh, he takes. Oh, he takes. Lift up your hands. We command the lifting. We command the lifting. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Let the church of God step into our prophetic destiny. It's time for us to arise with the glory of our King and step into this system and invade this system with the life, the power, the glory of God. He said, Thy kingdom come and thy will be done in this realm as it is in the heavens. And so we establish your counsel. It's time for the church to arise and be lampstands indeed. Even by the anointing of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Now listen to me. Those of you who are here inside and outside. The Bible says, Come unto me all ye that are weary and heavy laden and I will give you rest enough of sorrow and frustration 
tonight the Lord is calling you into a relationship. The Bible says, in the day that you hear his voice, harden not your heart as in the provocation. And so the Lord is calling right now. If you've not made up your mind to stand for Jesus, to give your hearts to Jesus Christ, this is an opportunity to end your wrestle with the Spirit of God and to make a decision. Or if you've given your heart to the Lord but have turned away because of several challenges, we welcome you right now. And so I'm inviting you inside and outside. Leave your seat and walk out. Jesus is calling you. It's time for a great relationship. Appreciate them as they come inside and outside. The Lord is calling you. Hallelujah. Please keep standing. Keep standing. Don't sit down. This is the greatest miracle of all. The Lord is calling you. Leave your seat and come out. God is calling. As you hear his voice, please step out. Harden not your heart. It's time for a new relationship. It's time for a new level. The Lord is calling you. Appreciate them. They are coming. This is the greatest miracle. Inside and outside. We take authority over every influence that wants to stop you from being saved. Now is your time. Now is the hour. We welcome you into the glorious family of God. We welcome you. Come as you are. Come as you are. There is no condemnation. Come as you are. It doesn't matter what you have done. Inside and outside, the Lord is calling you. Please come up your space. We appreciate you until you come. Please keep clapping. Let's celebrate this miracle. Let's celebrate this harvest. Let's celebrate this harvest. Many coming into the fold. The Spirit of God is still speaking to you. Inside and outside. I'd like you to come. Go to Him. He's calling you. He's calling you. He's calling you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I sincerely want to express my joy for this bold decision that you have made. Hallelujah. Jesus said, if you are not ashamed of me before men, I will not be ashamed of you before my father. Hallelujah. This is the greatest miracle in this place. A translation from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son. And we salute you. We congratulate you. It's a bold step that will begin a new season in your life. Hallelujah. I'd like you to quickly pray this prayer after me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, please mean it from your heart. This is not a special number. It's a serious prayer. Hallelujah. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I accept that I'm a sinner. I believe you died for me. I believe you shed your blood for me. I acknowledge you as my Lord and Savior. I receive eternal life in my spirit and I declare that I'm born again I'm washed by the blood I am free I denounce sin and Satan and I receive authority to be called the child of God from today I'm born again the spirit of God lives in me for in your prayer where I am strong it's only in your presence oh Lord my God in your presence that's where I belong I am seeking your face I'm touching your grace of the world in your presence oh God in your presence oh hallelujah so say after me in the name of Jesus God is a good God say after me God is a good God he's not the author of sickness he's not the author of failure He's not the author of poverty. He's 
not the author of stagnation. God is a good God. Say one more time, God is a good God. And God is on my side. Professor, one more time, God is a good God. And God is on my side. Just bring the request here. Hallelujah. So number one, you must believe that God is a good God. God is a very good God. Number two, your expectation, say after me, expectation. Your level of expectation determines how much of God you will receive. Listen, the Bible makes us to understand in Acts chapter 3. Can you turn your Bible to the book of Acts chapter 3? Acts chapter 3. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Acts chapter 3. If you're there, say Amen. Okay, this was, let me start from verse 1 quickly. Now Peter and John went up together to the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour, that's 3 p.m. And a certain man, lame from his birth, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. Verse 3, who seen Peter and John about to go into the temple, ask an arm. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him, with John said, Look on us. Verse 5, can we read together? One to read. And he gave heed to them, expecting to receive something from them. Your expectation. The man was hungry. He was expectant. There was a level of expectation. The Bible says the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut. There must be expectation in your heart for that miracle you must say lord i believe that's why the worship team led us through songs that will bring our spirits to points where we can believe you must believe be expectant the bible says hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 it says for without faith it is impossible to please god for he that cometh unto him must believe that he exists and then that is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him he says, you will seek me and you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. And so there must be expectation in your heart. A hunger, a desire, and say, Lord, tonight will be my night. You've got to be that desperate. Many people were touching Jesus, but there was a woman who was so full of expectation. She said, if I may but touch the hem of his garment, if I may but touch the hem of his garment. And so your expectation opens you up to realms of possibilities in the spirit where you believe that God is able. God is able. He is able. And so your heart must be stirred up with expectation. Your expectation is a revelation that you believe God can do it. Your expectation is a revelation that you know you will receive. The Bible says by these two immutable things, it is impossible for God to lie. I'm aware that there's a young man who came here from Edo or Bini, suffering from a challenge. No, this is not word of knowledge. I was told yesterday. This is that young man here. Did he come tonight? Hallelujah. Okay, he's not around. Wanted to pray for him. I got word that there was a young man that came. A Muslim for that matter. Hallelujah. All right, let's continue. There must be an expectation. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Oh, he's around. He's in the overflow. Okay, let him come. He is a
wish but what concerns me today He is able more than able to handle everything that comes my way He is able of the Spirit upon you to do much more than I could ever dream. That devil, leave him now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be free now in the name of Jesus. You are free. You are free. Absolutely free. In the name of the Lord Jesus. God is able. Number three, you must act on the word. You must act on the word. It's not just enough to believe. You must act. A step of faith is the only proof that you have believed. You must act upon the word. Acts chapter 3. Let's continue from our reading. The Bible says in verse 6, And Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I unto you. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Listen, look at me. Let me have somebody quickly just come. Let me use you. Come with your chair. I want us to illustrate what happened there. Please, quickly. Okay, so. Can you sit? Just turn, turn and face the congregation. Now, let's assume this was the lame man. Watch me. When Peter said, in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Guess what happened? The man didn't rise up. Calm down. The man didn't rise up. He sat there and was looking. Why? Because until you take a step of faith, God is not committed to perform. Until you, the Bible says, this sign shall follow, not go before. Follow until you take a step. As you take a step, your taking a step is proof that you believe you will get the miracle. Now watch this. He told him, silver and gold am I not, but such as I have, give I unto you. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. But the man didn't walk. And the Bible says Peter forced his faith to walk. Read your Bible. He said Peter held his hand and lifted him. The Bible says, and as he was arising, while he was standing, then the power of God could find access. And the Bible says, and she leaping stood. And so when the word of God comes, you receive it in your spirit. When you receive it in your spirit, you begin to act. You've got to act to get the result. Your obedience is the only proof that you truly believe God. Listen to me. If 
I ask this brother, I said, go and hold the hands of that sister. And all the brother says is, I believe, I'm going. Sister, I'm coming to hold your hands. Just, I'm going, I know nothing can stop me. You have not obeyed. Are you following me? It's true that you have confessed the word, but that's not faith. Faith is not to listen, listen. Faith is not speaking alone. The dynamics of faith is that you believe the word, when you believe the word you speak the word after you speak the word you ask the word as you are doing you complete what i call the faith equation then god is ready to come forward don't just stand and speak and say no no and so you must act on the word when you act on the word you commit god's anointing and his ability to perform hallelujah you ask the word the bible makes us to understand that faith can be seen faith can be seen when at a certain time jesus was having a meeting just like this and the bible says they carried a man who was on a stretcher and when they came everywhere was packed full the bible says they tore the roof and as they were bringing the man the bible said jesus saw their faith that was their faith they were so desperate for a miracle that they knew they would, they would talk with the landlord after the miracle. And so you must be ready to do the work. There are many of you who have come here with oppression in your body. When I called on this man, all the way from Benini, and, and he's not even a Christian. Hallelujah. And he believed. How did he prove that he believed? He came. And did he get the miracle that's God once you believe the word and act upon the word then you commit God to perform that's what the Bible calls faith faith is not just saying what God has said it's also doing what God has said the mother of Jesus told them in the wedding in Cana he said whatever he tells you to do do it whatever he tells you to do do it so you receive you do what you couldn't do you give thanks hallelujah two other quick points you must also believe in the vessel that god will use to bring the miracle for you are you following me now it's important a lot of people say the vessels don't matter well they don't matter in the sense that they are not the ones who produce the miracles but they matter because they are the channels are you following me now very very important two scriptures two scriptures in mark chapter 6 from verse 1 to 6 i will not read it just write it the bible makes us to understand that when jesus went into his town the great miracle worker when he went to his town and he began to speak the bible says they looked at him and said it is not joseph the carpenter's son are this not his brothers and the bible says that they were offended by him and because of that he could not do mighty miracles hear me the word he could not means he tried and it didn't work and the bible says he marveled at their own belief he could only heal a few cases very very important in the days of jehoshaphat in second chronicles chapter 20 the moabites and the ammonites threatened to come and destroy the nation of israel jehoshaphat was king and the bible says how that he was he was fearful and while they set themselves to pray and fast jahaziel the prophet at that time the hand of the lord came upon him and he spoke a few things and gave them the strategy and the bible says the next day when they were about to go to war second chronicles chapter 20 verse 20 jehoshaphat was speaking and he said believe the lord and you shall be established he said believe in his prophets and you shall prosper so it's important not only to believe in the god who brings the miracle but the vessels the channels through the uh, through which the miracles will pass to you you must believe that's why many times jesus will ask them and say can you believe i am able to do this what is your evaluation of my person am i just an ordinary man that's what jesus would ask them or do you believe that i'm the son of god he asked the disciples he said what do men say i am 
and he said you are Elias you are this and that and he said alright but you you have walked with me what is your evaluation of that person and Peter speaking by the spirit said I know who thou art he said thou art Christ the son of the living God so I like for you to believe God believe that God is ready and willing to give you all kinds of miracles number two your heart must be full of expectation number three you must be ready to act upon the word as the word of God comes you must receive it listen as you take the relevant steps of faith you will find out that God is committed to perform his word hallelujah I know the lamb I know the lion I know the lamb I know the lion I believe in the lamb I believe in the lion I don't know about you but I believe in the lion and say Lord the time has come this miracle will not leave me the time has come I'm about to speak a word under the unction of the spirit and tell God Lord now is the time I believe your word don't sit down doubting whether or not God will do it believe believe situations are about to change forever to be transformed is by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, 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 oh. Epilepsy, seizures, to be gone. Epilepsy, seizures. 
functioning of your body. Be corrected now. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. Every kind of infection. Viral infection. I don't care what it is. Leave God's people now. Out of your body. Now. Now. for too long the next thing you begin to sweat sweat very profusely it has embarrassed you it ends now in the name of Jesus Christ it ends right now it ends right now I see a number of ladies with menstrual pain be gone now now every irregularity is be gone now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now I see a number of people who are tormented. I see you. tormented in your dreams and all kinds of demonic things. As the light of God's Spirit enters you, it's not just about praying right now. What you need is not just for the devil to seize his influence, but for light to come into your spirit. Every oppression of Satan over your life be gone right now in the name of Jesus. 
success. Every financial challenge in this place, hear me. I like you to believe. Every, I don't care what the problem is. Every debt, if you are in debt in this place, I set you free now. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. challenge. There are some of you you are not born. You can't just explain what is happening. Right now under this anointing I command that you are super intelligent in the name of Jesus. Every mental challenge be gone now in the name of Jesus. Every trace of psychosomatism be gone now in the name of Jesus. I see a few people suffering from pile. Pile. You are free in the name of Jesus. You are free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now listen to me. Hallelujah. I'm seeing there's a lady in this place. You have cried for a long time. Because of your past, something happened to you and you actually, I think you had some kind of abortion or so and they told you you may not keep birth and you have been thinking about that thing. They said there's something that has affected part of your womb. Well then, we're in an atmosphere of the glory. Therefore, we give you a new one now. We are not asking for the old one to be fixed. Receive a brand new one now. Every heart situation, whether whole in the heart, we are not praying for it, for healing. We command a new one now in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a woman who has been buried for eight years. It's part of the request that is here. I've seen a woman who has been buried for eight years. Right here. I've seen a lady who is also praying for your dad has not had jobs for a while. Whatever the prayer point is, I like everybody just connect with someone in faith. And pray in the spirit. We are going to pray and say, Lord, let there be an outpost of instant miracles. Go ahead and pray. Shepa Karina Natalia. Miracles are happening. Shaparina 
supernatural charge the Lord, you cannot enjoy this victorious life we are talking about. If you've not given your heart to the Lord, away from all of those struggles, Jesus said, come unto me all ye that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Tonight there's rest for you. Tonight there's rest. As many of you who want to make Jesus Lord of your life, I'd like you to leave your seat from inside this building and in the overflow. Please, I'd like you to walk out here right now. You want to make Jesus Lord of your life? I'd like you to walk out here. And for those of you who have given your heart to the Lord, but you found yourself walking in ways that are not His own, and you're saying, Lord, tonight, I want to start a new journey with you. This is the greatest miracle in this place. We want to give you an opportunity. Please leave your seat and come. You are welcome. Please appreciate them. Leave your seat and come. All over this building, make sure you don't sit back. Jesus is calling you into a new experience, into a new life. It doesn't matter who you are. We welcome you. Please keep clapping. Keep clapping. Jesus is the reason for the miracles. Jesus is the reason. We welcome you into a new life. Into a victorious life. Don't sit back inside and outside. In the day that you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. The Lord is calling you. It 
doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter what you have done. I like you to come. He's inviting you. You are welcome. 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 Leave your seats. No one condemns you. You are welcome. You are welcome. Your maker welcomes you. Leave your seat and come. Keep clapping. They are still coming. making this decision I like you to know that this is the greatest decision you have made greater than any miracle that has happened in this place the angels rejoice the saints rejoice you have made the greatest and the wisest decision and together as a family we welcome you we welcome you you are welcome just as you are you are welcome hallelujah Jesus said, anyone who comes to me, I will in no wise cast away. I'd like you to lift your hands as you make this prayer of salvation. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I'd like you to mean it from your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I believe you came and died for me. I believe you shed your blood for me. I confess that Jesus is Lord of my life I believe that he was raised from the grave for me and today I denounce sin and Satan today I denounce the works of the flesh today I receive eternal life into my spirit I am born again I am a child of God I am heaven bound in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can you celebrate God everybody for this great miracle? Great miracle. Great miracle. Hallelujah. Now please just um, follow the counselors. This way please all of you just follow them. They'll have a word. Please appreciate them. Appreciate God for this great miracle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, if, if this is your first time of coming here, this is your first time of coming for Koinonia, we want to give you a Koinonia welcome. I'd like you to jump up from your seat and come quickly. If this is your first time, come on, appreciate them. Make sure you come out. If this is your first time, come out. Please, we love you. We appreciate you. This is your first time of coming for Koinonia. No stop, no stop. Give them a big Koinonia welcome. Come on. There's space for you. There's room for you. We want to pray for you. Give them a big Koinonia welcome. Just face yourselves. From inside, from outside, wow. Somebody help me say wow. Wow. All right, hold on. Okay, so you may just, um, just stay where you are. Hallelujah. I want to thank you so much for making our time to come for Koinonia. The Lord is doing great things in this place, teaching us the principles of the kingdom and bringing us to a point where we grow in intimacy with the Holy Spirit and equipping us by His anointing to be true ambassadors for the kingdom. And so we welcome you. I love every one of you just as you are. Thank you so, so much. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. Now, uh, Help me, how do we do this? Okay, um, no, 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 they can't come out. All of them cannot come out. They are so much. Okay, this is what will happen. We are going to take your details. Hello. We are going to take your details. Okay, so you just go back to your seat and we we'll pass the paper. Okay, everybody seems to be a newcomer. So okay. we ask everybody to go out there. We have the whole church outside. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you're a member of KNI, can you shout a big your welcome? Can you tell them we love you? Hallelujah. All of you can lift your hands. I just want to pray for you. Father, thank you so much for 
for this precious, beautiful, loving, wonderful people. Lord, you drew them by your power, by your grace, to come and bless their lives. Father, I thank you because you have blessed them with the power of your word. Thank you for the things that you are doing in their lives. I speak over your life that from this night you keep moving from glory to glory. That you keep moving from strength to strength. In the name of the Lord Jesus, whatever challenge you came here with, we declare that it dies off your life forever in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are the head and not the tail. I declare that you are above and not beneath. The hand of the Lord is strong upon your life. You are waxing from glory to glory, from strength to strength. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you are not ordinary. I declare that you are in every way supernatural. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Alright, so please go back to your seat. Appreciate them, please. If you are close to them, give them a warm hug. Hug yourself still. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay, just a few quick announcements. Hallelujah. Just to announce to us that after the service, we have free bus transportation for you back. Hallelujah. There's free bus transportation for as many. Hallelujah. The publicity continues. I want to appreciate everyone. I'd like you to turn and tell your neighbor, well done. Well done for your publicity. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. Even as you publicize, please and please, we want more unbelievers, more people who need the reality of the life of God. By the grace of God, from next week, we are going to start teaching series to equip and empower us with the principles of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I also would like you to know that all of our messages, thank you, that all of our messages um, are available for you free of charge. Hallelujah. And so from this night and um, the other services, it's very, very important. Hallelujah. Sorry, because of the time, we may not be able to take testimonies of miracles. I really apologize. The Bible says we overcame them by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. But because of the time, I apologize once again. We started late because um, there was a meeting here. Hallelujah. Okay, I was told that um, there are some items lost and found please meet the ushers hallelujah so if you have your miracle and um, your miracle testimony and the media people or the ushers they are at the aisles you can meet them and pen it down uh, next week we'll have those miracles hallelujah we'll have the testimonies in the name of the lord jesus christ um, to remind you again that koinonia continues next week hallelujah the lord is expanding us by the spirit and so it requires that you come early hallelujah come early enough so that you can sit and be comfortable we're already trying to make arrangement for an overflow can you celebrate jesus christ he alone is to be glorified he alone is to be exalted Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Appreciate these beautiful people, please. The best worship team in this part of God's kingdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Um, just to remind us again that E and I, um, the Sunday prayers continues by 10. Many of you who are on campus, please make yourself available. It will be a wonderful time in the spirit. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. Hallelujah. Jampa had some words for us, but maybe we'll take it another time. Hallelujah. I didn't see this until now. Hallelujah. So we'll give opportunity. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. 
the word is working in my spirit say in the name of Jesus I am not ordinary the anointing of the spirit the ability of the spirit is at work in me say in the name of Jesus I'm full of faith in the name of Jesus I hear the voice of the spirit and there is grace for me to obey say in the name of Jesus I manifest the character of a kingdom citizen say in the name of Jesus I'm anointed to work miracles signs and wonders say in the name of Jesus the blessing of the Lord is upon me the favor of the Lord is upon me the goodness of the Lord is upon me lift up your hands as I pray for you I call you the blessed of the Lord in the name of Jesus I declare that you are blessed in your going out blessed in your coming in in the name of Jesus everything you lay your hands to do is blessed as many of you who are writing exams I command the favor of God upon your papers in the name of Jesus I pray that the anointing of the Spirit is at work in you I pray that the light of the Spirit is at work in you you are favored on all sides in the name of Jesus the lights are falling for you in pleasant places and you have a goodly heritage you are the head and not the tail you are above and not beneath you shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord you are anointed you are supernatural you are the best of your kind the grace of the Lord is upon you timidity is gone you are full of faith you are full of courage you are the head and not the tail your parents are blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus thank you Heavenly Father now please very quickly I know many of us will be rushing for the bus just calm down we'll try as much as possible to take as many people okay because of the number of people i may not have time to personally welcome the first timers but please ensure that you drop your name and you drop your details the ushers just um give them the information all around please the papers will be going around make sure you pen down your name in the name of jesus hallelujah okay let's share the grace the grace of our lord jesus the love of god the sweet flesh of the holy spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Hold ten people and tell them I love you. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.